Okay, my name is Sea Dog again, and I am talking about Geronimo the Phoenix Destiny. It is one of the new bestsellers, and if you're interested in this, you can purchase it at Barnes and Noble. Um. Put it down. I'll show it. Um. Anyway, it has like a really cool picture of Geronimo Stilton holding a sword and a phoenix on it. And in case you don't remember, Scribble Hopper. In case you don't know him. Um, he is a literary frog that makes really bad poems, but they're really pretty. Um, anyway, um, Scribblehopper claimed that Scorcher has turned his daughter into an, a phoenix. And I'm guessing that this phoenix is Scribblehopper's daughter. Because it, yeah, it kind of looks like a girl. Um, you see that? Um, oh, hold on, you can't really see. You can't really see it. Can't really see. Um, make, make sure they can see. Um, hold on, my cameraman is just adjusting it really quick. Um, they're just making sure you can see it all. Give us a minute. So I'm just gonna stand that up like that so you guys can see, and I hope you guys can see all of it. Yeah, there you are. Okay, you can just put it down, cameraman. Just screw it back a bit. There we go. That's the Phoenix Destiny, and I'll I'll show you guys the back in a minute. But um, I'm going to show you Scribble Hopper from my one of my other books, um, the First Kingdom of Fantasy. Okay, Scribble Hopper is right here, and he's a bad literary frog, and um. It says, this is Geronimo's official guide through the kingdom of fantasy as a, chatter, a chatterbox who calls himself a writing, um, himself a literary frog. He dreams of writing a best-selling book. Oops, sorry about that, folks. So, this is the Phoenix Destiny. And um, my best friend, um, S, um, you may have heard our real names in the cooking video, thanks to our camera lady, B. <laughs> so you may, not, you may know what S stands for. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, so this is a bestseller, um, and I'm going to show you the back. Is it a must-have? Yes, it's a must-have. Okay, so okay. okay, and I'm going to show you one of the bad poems that Scribblehopper has made. It says, well, you guys can read it. Through the golden door came a knight in shining armor, Sir Geronimo of Stilton. He was tall, handsome, and mighty, with proud blue eyes and radiant blonde fur. He was wearing a suit of silver armor that glimmered in the moonlight, and, and his invincible sword was... Um, I think that's it. Nope. Oh, yeah. The knight in shining armor rode fiercely and on his trusty white horse, with his red cape flapped in the wind. His whiskers stood at the attention, and his sword stood... On the intention, his sword changed at his side. I mean, clanged. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and I'll show you what Geronimo really looked like. So this is what Scribblehopper described him to look like down here, if you can see that. And um, this is, I'll show you what Geronimo Stilton really looks like. Geronimo Stilton is this mouse right here in the, in the green suit. And this is Benjamin, his um, little nephew and favorite nephew, and just some of his students. Um, anyway, that, I'll show you the back of the Phoenix Destiny. Um, it says, well, you guys can read it if you'd like. It says, I, Stilton, had returned to the Kingdom of Fantasy on the wings of the Phoenix Destiny. On the face of destiny. Blossom, the queen of the fairies, needed my help once again. 
but Blossom was behaving strangely. She sent me off on quest after magical quest, each one more bizarre and dangerous than the last. I felt like my missions were building up to something truly terrible right under my snout. Could my friends and I pull things right again? I hope you can, Geronimo. And I'll just show you this, pretty cool. It has like gold pages right there. And um, I think that um, the, the gold um, fragment right here is pretty cool. And they did fabulous artwork, but Geronimo looks a little different to me. Cause I'll show you the comparison. See, look at Geronimo, oops, I am so sorry. <laughs> Um, I will show you the comparison. Stay. <laughs> this is Geronimo right here in the first Kingdom of Fantasy, and look at him in the Phoenix of Destiny. Looks a little different, if you ask me. It does. But anyway, <laughs> um, that is Geronimo Sultan, the Phoenix of Destiny, and it has golden pages. Um, I don't really want to spoil it for you guys, so I'm not going to show you any of the inside, but... Uh, let me know in the comments below if um, you get the book and tell me how it was because I have not read this yet. And we have one more book we'd like to interview. Just, um, um, sorry about that. <laughs> this is, um, and Geronimo Stilton. Sorry, this one is a hardcover, so you can't really make it stand up. But it is a... Um, wait, I got an idea. Hold it up. I'm just going to use the Phoenix of Destiny book. <laughs> Sorry. Oops, still doesn't work. Because um, bear with me for a minute, people. I'm going to use my two dragons. Um, This is Moonlight. And this is um Sunlight. So I got them at Barnes and Noble too, and huh? and this is my new book, Space Mice Rescue Me. Really, the series. Okay. Okay. Just and so this book is magical because it's the first book in Space Mice. It's not the first book in Space Mice. Oh, um, I will show you because this isn't really new, but I still like it. Uh, cameraman, can they see my face? Mm -mm. Okay, I'll just show you. I haven't read this one yet either. What the? Well, as you can see, I haven't heard of this yet, but the next adventure is the underwater planet. That sounds pretty cool. <laughs> and um, I'll show you how I figure out all these books. Leave a thumbs up. These, this is how, but... I'm going to be interviewing this book, too, because I am waiting to, for the arrival. But I have almost all of these books. Um, yeah, so um, I'll show you. Um, I'll show you. Um, oh, oh, and another new one is um, uh, the time, the time one. It yeah. says the race against time, and it has a mammoth. I don't think you. Yeah, you can see it. Um, the mammoth and there's Geronimo. Um. I haven't gotten that one yet either. I just found out about that one. And, and she's got almost the whole series. So there are two new ones that I don't have. Um, um, in case you can't see. Um, Mouse House Hunter. And, um, and this one is uh, Mouse Overboard. And that <laughs> sounds pretty cool to me. And I will read the back to you. No. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry, we will be right back. Right now, you can enjoy the cuteness of these little guys. Don't. I'll go get bun bun for you. What? Bun bun. Is this I'm gonna go get bun bun. Bun bun. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm back. Um. Okay. I am back with you. Um. 
the back. I'm just going to use my Jade Dragon Sunlight. I might need both of them. Back it up a bit. Sorry. It's a little frustrating. I need to get the books to stand up. Okay. My best friend Bella. Um, well, you already, knew, you already knew her name from the cooking video. And I guess I should tell you my name. My real name's Carol, but my nickname is Sea Dog. Okay. Don't tell the well, you already know our other friend's name is. There, you found out in the cooking show, cause someone got upset cause I accidentally said their name. Anyway, this is the back. Meet Geronimo Stiltnex. He's a yeah, you already know that. Geronimo no, Stilt. No. Okay. Um. Sorry about that. <laughs> the Geronimo Stiltnex and his crew head to the planet Jurassic's to warn its inhabitants to, of a giant comet heading straight towards them. But the creatures, these turn out to be a ferocious dinosaur-like beast who can eat rodents. Squeak! Can the space mice save these aliens and still make it out alive? Well, I don't know, Geronimo. But yeah, you can get this uh, from Scholastic, um, or you can um, go to GeronimoStilton.com and see the the cartoon version of it and um it is 6.99 in u.s and if you live in canada it is 8.99 and as you can see right there i don't know if you can see it you can, yeah you can see it pretty well um anyway thanks for coming and you got to meet my dragons that i was gonna do in the, another video but i will still do another video okay um okay bye hope you liked it